So I'm, I'm Miles Allen, um, introducing the uh, Environmental Change Institute, um, which, uh, is, is, as, as Heather said, is one of the big uh, units within the school. Um, and uh, that's the, the, the mission of the ECI. Um, and it's, it's very uh, uh, explicitly an interdisciplinary uh, research center. And uh, that's actually what drew me to uh, the ECI and to the school uh, a few years ago. I've been for an embarrassingly long time in the Department of Physics here in Oxford. Um, and, but I was finding myself, although I was using the tools of physics in pretty much everything I was doing in terms of equations and, and modeling and so forth, I was having to apologize more and more for saying, well, you know, this is sort of physics, isn't it? And, and the other physicists were saying, well, not really. And uh, so, so it was very, it was, it was a great relief to move to a, a department where nobody's quite sure what they're doing. So it's sort of easy to say that what I'm doing is, is fits in because, you know, it's, it's easy to fit. So, so the, that's the beauty of interdisciplinary work is nobody's quite sure what it is. So um, this is the, 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 the key part. One of the key elements of ECI is the interdisciplinary nature of our understanding of our processes of change. Um, but it's also the practical focus of ECI's work, which is another hallmark of what we do. We want to understand processes of change, but also explore sustainable solutions, and then influencing change through partnership and through our education program, which is uh, uh, the, the flagship of which is the, uh, the, the uh, uh, Environmental Change and Management uh, uh, MSc program. There's five strands to the ECI's work. It's sort of loosely organized around climate, water, ecosystems, food, and energy. Um, and I'll just take you through these briefly so that you know um, who's leading them and what they cover before handing over to Simon, who's going to talk to us a bit more about some key highlights from the water, water security uh, area of work. A lot of these um, to uh, topics within the ECI are, are sort of overlapping parts of a Venn diagram covering the work of the school. One of the attractive aspects of the school, actually, is, for me, is it is quite hard to draw lines through it. That's the whole point of an interdisciplinary school. We're not quite sure which group people are working in. That's the way it should be. And uh, the Forests and Ecosystems group, you, you've already heard from Yavinda Mali. Y uh, Yavinda is also within the ECI, and a lot of that work, uh, a lot of the work within his group also links up with the broader interdisciplinary work of the ECI our program. We have also the Lower Carbon Futures Group within the ECI, uh, led by Nick Eyre, and they are f focusing pr primarily on what they're very well known for, is the role of um, social and individual behavior in determining carbon consumption. So it's the, you know, people tend to think of climate policy and energy policy in terms of very big things, power stations, grids, pro nuclear programs, and so forth. And you know, in the end, it's individuals, it's you and me, that actually use energy and, and, and determine the total demand for this stuff. And what the Lower Carbon Futures program is, 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 is world-renowned for is understanding how individual behavior decisions all collectively build up into our carbon future. Um, they also work a lot on technologies as well. They don't just work on behavior. And also, of course, on the, the macro stuff of policy formulation and understanding markets, in particular carbon markets, um, which, of course, is, is, is a key part of the overall policy framework for regulating, uh, for doing something, if we do eventually manage to do anything about climate change. Um, my own work is on climate uh, uh, impacts, and I, I'm within the, the climate group. But just to mention, there's other uh, parts of that, that's already been talked about a bit by Sebastian, um, but there's also the UK Climate Impacts Programme read by uh, Roger, and then the climateprediction.net Weather at Home initiative, which is led by Freddie Otto, so I put those, those up there as well. Within ECI, we have the Food Security Programme um, led by John Ingram, um, and this is a, it's a new part of the ECI's work. It's a new uh, uh, program drawn in to the School of Geography. Um, food is a, is a, is a very, it's a very hot topic at the moment. Um, and uh, this is something which, this, which is really developing within the school. There's a huge amount of interest in people trying to work out, you know, how exactly are we going to feed ourselves when we all, you know, want to eat meat in 30 years' time, and there's lots of us as well. And so trying to, trying to work out how that's, how that's going to work, what the, st what the different stresses are that's going to, well, not, not only eat meat, but throw most of it away. I mean, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, in, re really interesting questions that, that the food program looks at. And they work, again, like the other parts of the ECI, very closely with stakeholders. Yeah, we all like stakeholders, don't we? Um, and uh, uh, th there was a joke there, but it was so subtle, nobody <laughs> laughed. Um, but uh, 
Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll make my jokes more obvious now in the future. <laughs> um, but but they they, uh, they they work with 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 uh, the, so for example the supermarket chains and working at the uh, analyzing wastage and so forth in the food chain. Um, the water security network is Simon's going to talk uh, much more about, so I won't uh, dwell on that. But that's just apart from to say that it's led by Jim Hall, who is also the ECI director. And I realized, of course, when I started off, I forgot to mention that I am standing here, standing in for Jim Hall, who is actually in charge of the ECI, just in case you get any ideas. OK, <laughs> finally, let me just uh, wrap up by uh, mentioning that we, we, of course, have a lot of cross-cutting initiatives which don't really fit neatly within these different themes within the ECI. And the most important of these, I feel at least, is the uh, Masters in Environmental Change and Management, uh, which is this very international, highly interdisciplinary program that the ECI has been running uh, for uh, over 25 years now. Um, which is, uh, draws people from, from all corners of the globe um, and has perhaps one of our most influential outputs in the long term. And that's led by Tom Thornton, who I've just spotted in the corner there. Um, one of the, just before I forget, I, did, I, I do want to highlight sort of talking of networking people. There are a number of research networks uh, coordinated within uh, ECI. Uh, one of those is the Oxford Climate Research Network. Pete Walton's at the back there. Give us a wave, Pete. Okay, so, so if you're interested in climate research in the university, then we do actually try and coordinate these things, and Pete is coordinating the climate. So if you want to make links with that, um, Pete's your man. But at that point, I'm going to hand over to Simon, uh, because uh, he's going to be telling us about water security risk and growth uh, as we go forward. Thank you.